Hello and welcome to another edition of Myrtle's Rant. Uh, we have a new year. Oh, well, it's Chinese New Year anyway, uh, now that we're in the month of February. And um, so I'm wishing everybody a new year, a happy new year from, from Myrtle's Rant and the Hot Box Show. And it does, it does feel like a new year, although we're a month into it, uh, almost a month and a half into it. Um, and I've been thinking today about what to rant about and what has really been occupying my mind over the last few weeks at least is how far have we come? How do we, how do we measure this? Because at the moment it feels like in this area of cannabis activism, cannabis legalization, cannabis community and culture, um, that there's lots of piece of people that are racing forward with their businesses and um, and hopefully doing very well and of that we're really proud of. But we seem to be somewhat stagnated when it comes to having any good news when it comes to the cannabis industry in South Africa. We haven't heard anything about the bill. We haven't heard anything about the master plan. I know that as I've always said, we will see the most movement on the provincial level. And I know that the Western Cape Can Plan um, has been having a few meetings, which I've been following along with. But as we move into this very busy time of the year in our cannabis industry, we're going into March, which is traditionally the month of C&D, and I'll talk a bit about that a bit later. And then we're, we're everybody's busy advertising their events for 420 in April, which is our, our dedicated month of cannabis culture, where we have loads and loads of fun. But what have we got to actually take into this new cannabis year? Um, tonight, at I think it's at 8 o'clock tonight, um, we will have another SONA, State of the Nation address by our president and we know for the last three years that he has promised to have some sort of movement on the commercialization of cannabis and um, blah 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 and more blah 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 so I don't think I think it will be very embarrassing for him to actually mention cannabis again tonight so I think that's the only reason why I'll go and watch the sauna tonight is because maybe he'll mention cannabis again and then he'll really have egg on his face we haven't heard a thing but we soldier on and that brings me to some very very exciting news um, that I'll be traveling to Spain with ICEAS on the Catalonian Cannabis Club tour. Um, what do I tell people in Spain? Well, I tell them that we're in exactly the situation that they are in in Spain. Spain has also not seen any movement in the actual de facto legalization of their clubs, although they are the absolute pioneers in this in this part of things because in South Africa while some clubs might be launching now and splashing all over social media which doesn't make them private um, other clubs are, are really feeling feeling threatened there's rumors are go, are going around that certain clubs are going to be targeted by the police we still have to raise a hundred and fifty thousand rand for the Hayes Club case and I really feel a responsibility for, for the Hayes Club and for Neil and how brave he is taking this all the way to the Supreme Court of Appeal. We still have our Labour Court case which is pending. We haven't heard a thing as to what a date. And we still need to raise at least 50,000 Rand for Bernie to proceed. Um, and then we're going to Vienna and we're asking for money again when there, when there really is no economy and no money left for non-profit companies. So where does that leave us? That leaves us making an appeal to those people who are making money in the cannabis industry, those people who've got a fruitful and abundant relationship with the cannabis plant when it comes to their bank balance. So that's the frustration. I really do think that the reason why we have seen the corporate capture of cannabis and we see uh, repeated news reports showing us all of these beautiful weed plants growing under lights using ESCOM that we don't have um, and exporting that weed. Uh, so my rant today is where are you those people who are reaping abundance from the cannabis industry where are you when we really really most need your help. 
the reason why the so-called medical cannabis industry in South Africa is supposed to be worth so much is because those are the people who have the capital to put in. Now, why don't you do a bit of a greenwashing campaign? Why don't you go and say, look how we are supporting the cannabis community in South Africa by supporting Fields of Green for All, who feel a bit embarrassed to ask our community for money because we know that everybody's struggling. We will show your name in lights if you do that. Oh, but no. We have to appeal to our international community and our GoFundMe campaign. We have to try and appeal to our local com community to raise money for the Labour Court, the Hayes Club case, the interdict against the police, and of course the umbrella of the trial of the plant, all the while keeping going uh, as a non-profit company. But I must say that if it wasn't for my amazing, amazing team here at Fields of Green for All, we wouldn't be anywhere and we wouldn't keep going at all because Joe repainted our beautiful hotbox studio this week out of her own pocket. Uh, Amy is keeping up with all of the, our affiliates and making sure that they get a balanced, um, uh, a balanced agreement with Fields of Green for All when they give us their monthly donations. Charles is busy helping with blog posts and social media posts so that we can keep up with our marketing campaign. And Rian is, while working really hard in the movie industry, is keeping all our technical uh, stuff going. So we have this amazing team on the ground. We've got a, a small group of now 25 affiliate companies who support us every month. And to them, we are eternally grateful. But it could be so much bigger. We really could see results. And this brings me back to the beginning again. Where are the results of our work on the international um, arena. Well, we have achieved our ECOSOC status and we certainly are being heard on an international level and the results are happening, but it's complicated stuff. For example, at the WHO, there are um, uh, ongoing discussions about indigenous medicines and that's not connected to CMD and that might be one of our things going forward as the voice of legacy cannabis to connect those two. But we can't do that unless we can participate. And in order to participate, that takes time and energy and of course money. So we are making progress. I sometimes doubt myself, but then our international colleagues always reassure us that we are making progress. So I really hope that I won't have to rant about money again in the very near future. As I say, the best way to support us is to sign up as an affiliate or to be an individual Green Network member. Um, and if you do know of somebody who has an abundant life, thank you to the cannabis industry, maybe you could pass on this message because we are really, really trying to get this job done that Jules and I started uh, nearly 13 years ago. And... Um, yeah, on next Tuesday is Valentine's Day and that will be the anniversary of Jules and my first court appearance in the Krugersdorf Magistrates Court. And that will see, uh, that will be um, 2010 to 2012, 13 years uh, since that first Mag Magistrates Court appearance. And um, we would really be, like to be able to put a timeline on wrapping all of this up. We can't keep going to Vienna year in and year out without seeing any progress. And now that we are making some progress, let's keep up the momentum so that cannabis can show the way for broader drug policy reform across the board. Um, this is not only about to legalize or not to legalize. This is about herbal cannabis. We don't need medicinal cannabis. We don't need pharmaceutical cannabis. We need cannabis as medicine for whatever reason that you're going to use the plant. And that's the bigger picture story. But we thank you in advance for your support. And we thank those people who are already supporting us. And that's my rant for today. Lots of love from everybody at Fields of Green for All.